Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. We recently found an interesting paper on how NMN can upregulate autophagy and protect against strokes. We will go through this paper today and we will see what the authors found in the study. First, a disclaimer. In this video, we are reviewing a scientific research paper. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Pharmacological restoration of autophagy reduces hypertension-related stroke occurrence. So what this means is that they use drugs to induce autophagy which reduce the occurrence of strokes caused by high blood pressure. As a side note, up till now I was not aware that there was a journal focused solely on autophagy. Strokes are a leading cause of mortality and disability and have a number of causes including high blood pressure, genetics and lifestyle. But the mechanism that causes it is not well understood. The author's hypothesis is that impairment of autophagy may favour the onset of stroke associated with high blood pressure. As a quick reminder, autophagy is the process that cleans up damaged organelles and proteins from our cells. Within autophagy is mitophagy, which is the removal of damaged mitochondria. With mitophagy, damaged mitochondria are removed and replaced by healthy ones. If this does not happen, there is a buildup of dysfunctional mitochondria causing energy depletion, oxidative stress and inflammation, all of which contribute to the possibility of a stroke. At the moment, the role of autophagy in development of strokes is not well known. In the study, the authors looked at the association of autophagy impairment and stroke development in a strain of rats called stroke-prone, spontaneously hypertensive rats. These rats have a stroke 100% of the time within 7 weeks on a high sodium, low potassium diet and before the stroke they have signs of mitochondrial dysfunction. The aim of the study was to evaluate the role of autophagy in the development of the stroke in these rats. One of the tests they performed was to give the rats NMN. They found that before the stroke there was a big reduction in NAD levels in the brain and that NMN was able to rescue the NAD levels and strongly blunt the stroke occurrence. As they say here, more than 50% of the animals survived to week 12 you may recall that normally 100% will die before reaching 7 weeks. Mechanistically, this was associated with the restoration of autophagy in the brain and decreased mitochondrial mass, which suggests mitophagy activation and improved mitochondrial function. This was assessed by the production of ATP, the form of energy used in the cell which is mostly produced by mitochondria. Let's look at the NMN dosage and the method of delivery. The NMN was injected and was 250 milligrams per kilogram per day. As these are rats and the conversion factor is 6.2, we see a human equivalent of 40.3 milligrams per kilogram per day. So for me at 64 kilograms, this is about 2.5 grams of NMN per day, which I have to say is pretty high. They note that kidney damage, which always preceded the stroke, also decreased. The proteinuria test mentioned in the study looked at protein levels in urine, a measure of kidney damage, as normally there should be minimal protein in the urine. They also note a significant reduction in systolic blood pressure, or SBP, showing that NMN had rescued autophagy and metophagy in both vitro and in vivo. The authors also tested a peptide called tat beclin one which induces autophagy with similar results though interestingly it did not lower the blood pressure, which showed that autophagy itself is playing a contributory role in improving stroke survival and is not only the effect of lowering the blood pressure. Here we have the survival curve for the rats with NMN and Tapbeclin 1. We can see that the control rats died on or before week 7, while the rats with NMN and Tapbeclin 1 survived much longer. Here is the conclusion that activating autophagy may represent a therapeutic strategy for subjects at high risk of stroke. For me, I found this interesting because it shows NMN upregulating autophagy. As autophagy is known to decrease with age, this is good news whether or not I am at risk of a stroke. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.